Hey, this is Carrie with a quick little honest video review of the Zomaki travel backpack. Um, this is specifically like a very lightweight fold up backpack. As far as I know, I have yet to unbox it or unbag it in this case. So I'm gonna test it out and see what I think and let you know my honest opinion. So Zomaki says joy of life as uh, the, uh, oh, it's different. This one says joy of life. This one says enjoy your life. I was gonna ask if that was a translation, but since it's not the same, I'm not sure it is or not. But anyway, here we go. So Maki, joy of life. This is how it folds down. Um, I have tested other travel backpacks in the past that fold down that did travel or did pack a little smaller than this, but this is, this is pretty small. And then, uh, it unfolds. Okay, I figured it out. This bottom part that was the other like zipper on the outside is the front pocket. I could not figure out what that was actually part of. And then this on the back is the straps and the buckle. The buckle is orange, which is a little weird because it doesn't match anything else, but that's okay. And it is very lightweight. It's not, again, as lightweight as other travel backpacks that I've tried in the past. It doesn't pack as small and it is not as lightweight, but it is still definitely a very lightweight backpack. And it has cool things like um, adjustable buckles on the side. I'm pretty sure it's the buckles and stuff that are making it like more, what is the word? Heavy, more heavy, heavier um, is probably like the buckles and additions and stuff. So I'm going to fill this up with a ton of stuff. I'm gonna see how much fits in here, if I could fit like a whole weekend's worth of clothes. And then also how it feels um, with the adjustable buckles and stuff on the back. So I'm excited to give this a try and I'll let you know what I think in a bit. The Zamaki backpack is stuffed to the brim. I tried to consider what I would take on like a long weekend trip in, you know, fall, winter. Um, and given my climate, I basically wear these clothes all year round. And so um, I stuffed in quite a bit and it really did fit and it honestly fit more than I was expecting. I was not sure I was gonna be able to put the extra sweater in, but it did a good job. And once I got it filled up with stuff, I understood more what all of these buckles and stuff are supposed to do. And also now that I've stuffed it, I would say it's more of like what you would consider like a backpacker's backpack and not just like a travel backpack. Um, and I say backpacker because it's like, it's got some extra features that you can stuff in more stuff and theoretically take up less space. So if you're trying to only travel with like one backpack, um, or if you're like getting on your flight and you don't wanna check a bag, you wanna stuff as much as possible into one bag, this is kind of the bag for you. Um, I don't love this chest strap, which I think is also more of a backpacker feature, um, but only because it doesn't have a hip one, which I think is the norm. I honestly haven't actually used like a backpacker backpack before, um, but every time I've seen people with them, they always have one at the chest and one at the hip, which helps to like balance it out better um, because just this is actually less comfortable to me than the knot. Personal preference, I'm not sure if that's actually right or not, but who knows. And then also on the side, which I can't even see, but anyway, it's got other buckly clip things that you can use to help compress it more and to um, make the bag a little bit more streamlined once you've got it all full of stuff. So I at first did not understand what all the buckles were for. Now I do, I think they're a cool feature and definitely something you will want to use if you're trying to cram as much as possible into a backpack. The only other thing super worth noting after testing it out is um, this is really annoying to me. That there's like a meshy fabric on the inside here, which I think is supposed to be more for comfort. It's not comfortable and it makes a lot of noise. I don't love that, 
but this is a packable backpack so they're trying to be as you know light on weight and resources as possible so keep that in mind the only other thing I got distracted that I wanted to say is that they have two-way metal zippers so you can zip both directions which my mom is a huge fan of those I don't love them because it's much more common for the zippers to get off their track and open up which I did notice sometimes um, I don't think I actually caught it on camera when I was filling it up but it has happened to me so just something to know I wish that the quality of the zippers was a little bit higher but I do like the zipper pulls so it's all kind of a balance it's not the lightest it's not the highest quality packable backpack that I've seen or tried recently um, but I think that there are little features that make it kind of more suited to the backpackers and anyone who's trying to make the most of their packing space so again this is Zomaki and at the very least I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself